Hi guys, Martin from Don't Remain a Tadpole. Today I'm going to do a unboxing and a review of a tripod. It's the Manfrotto um, B3 tripod. And the only reason I'm going to do the unboxing part is because of a uh, follower of ours called David H. He left a comment on the X uh, Packed blog and I will leave a link so you can go and see the comment and also obviously make your own comment. Uh, and this part of the, the first part of the actual video will be dedicated to Dave H. So he can see the unboxing of the Manfrotto B3 compact travel tripod. Actual unboxing, fun part. Right, as you no doubt can already see, the tripod is pretty small. To give you a better idea, if I measure it the old fashioned way, in the inches, it's almost, well it's just over say 17 uh, inches. It's probably in fact 16 and a half. And then if you look into um, the length in centimetres it's approximately 43 centimetres so that gives you an idea how small the, the tripod is I shall also show you another quick test why it's important um, for, for, for most people who are actually travelling and to show you why it's so useful another major positive for this tripod Here's my rucksack, which contains a uh, camera, uh, two or three lenses, and a few other bits and pieces. And lo and behold, it now also contains a tripod. It shows you how small the tripod is. Um, this is a fairly standard size rucksack. It's probably a little bit smaller, actually. And um, previously, to this tripod, my old tripod would be on the side and it used to uh, catch on to quite a few bits and pieces. So that's another positive for this tripod. Fits quite easily into my rucksack. Let's get back to the unboxing and what's in the actual box apart from the tripod and the carrying case. You have one small leaflet which tells you what to do and what not to do with your tripod, i.e. Um, when you clean it, make sure you clean it with mild detergent. Your normal bog standard type of thing. Then, the next one, which is the, the most important, is the instructions. Now because the tripod has a unique mechanism to allow it to be folded in such a way that it makes it compact, if you don't read these instructions, then you'll be saying to yourself, well, why can't I actually fold it? Why is this leg sticking out? Why can't I get it into the um, carrying bag, etc.? So very important, please read the instructions. And then we have a key to um, tighten up the legs if required. And then we have the uh, camera plate, the quick release plate. and. This is something to bear in mind. If you keep this on your camera, then you fold up your tripod in one particular way. If you leave this on the tripod, then you fold up your camera in a slightly different way, which is explained in the instructions. I'm going to show you how that is done shortly. Okay, let's have a look at the tripod. comes with the normal type of uh, guarantee and uh, tags if I can get the damn thing off. But this is the bit I think that uh, my friend Mr H was talking about. Ah, there you go. Right, this is just uh, one of those little leaflets that gives you a little bit more information about the actual product itself. Oh, here we go. 
Um, the the ball head um, will support up to four kilograms of camera equipment, uh, which is 8.8 .8 pounds. So there is a little baby. The tripod, when you receive it, um, it will be packed without the quick release in on the actual camera plate. Now, first thing you need to do is move each leg out. Now they are pretty stiff. But when you do it the first time, you begin to realize what a quality product it is. Because it's pretty robust. Right, now, you put those legs, they swing down from the, the center uh, pole where, where the uh, ball head is located and here on each leg there are three positions this one is when you fold it up then you have another one which is normally the, the standard type of um, sp spread of the leg and then the third one where the legs spread very 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 wide okay we're gonna just clip that into uh, the standard one for each leg as so and then actually just bring each one out as so and then I'm gonna actually move the center pole down like that and a little tripod there. Uh, hopefully this shot you will be able to see the uh, catches and when you uh, need to adjust the uh, well, the position of the legs. So all it is, is a matter of doing you will actually need to actually close it up so stop the, the catch from hitting the, the centre pole. So that obviously is when you pack it up and bring all the legs in. This position is when you're using the, the tripod mostly in the, the standard position and the far one uh, will allow the tri tripod to really open up its, uh, its legs as wide as it will go. So, and it's just a matter of actually just pushing up and, and, it's, um, and moving it over and it clicks in. So we will leave it into the centre position for all three legs. While I'm here, I will also see if I can just show you the, the quick release uh, on the ball head. Just have a quick look at the quick release. Well, I say quick release, in fact, um, it is quick, but it's not automatic as such. Um, you have a um, safety catch there, which you pull down, and then you just move this over, and then obviously, this will be attached to the camera, which will just slide in like a so, and then boom. And it's very, very, very solid. And obviously to remove it, it's the same, well, the opposite so, um, process. Simple as that. Okay, let's have a look and see how the tripod is folded so it can fit easily into the carrying bag. Now, at the moment, it's uh, compacted together and the camera plate, if I open the legs, isn't actually attached to the ball head. Okay, now you can see the curves here. Now that gives you an indication that when, as long as that's in the right position, when that closes up, the legs will fit perfectly into that ball head plate, okay? And the bottom one comes up underneath here, that closes onto it. And that's as simple as it gets. And that's how you can pack this into your camera bag. Now, let's have a quick look of how it's stored when the camera plate is attached to the ball head. Now the
ball head has got the camera plate. Now when you try to close all the legs around that, as you can see, that's not going to fit into the bag. So what you have to do, if you're going to pack the tripod with the camera plate attached to the ball head, all you do is you simply move it like that so the actual safety catch is facing towards the legs, the bottom of the legs. And if I turn that around, hopefully you see what I'm talking about, like that. And then when you close the legs, you will see that the plate is positioned in such a way everything compacts nicely and then you can store this into the camera bag. I'm only showing you this because when I bought the tripod, the guys in the shop had a great difficulty in trying to pack it into the case. And I can understand why. It's really just a matter of looking at the instructions. But hopefully um, this may help if you do have a little bit of a problem. Tripod with no camera plate attached to the ball head. Tripod with the camera plate attached to the ball head. Okay guys, let's put the uh, tripod up. First thing we do, obviously, is uh, put the legs the other way around. Like so. Then we can uh, adjust the catches into the position we want. guys finally just going to put the tripod away uh, as you remember we've got the, the catches we're going to put those in a fold away position so make sure the center point is uh, at longest extension Also, something I didn't actually mention that one of the legs has actually got a very good firm grip uh, rubber handle. Right now, we've all the catches are in the right position to actually fold away. And don't forget, we have the uh, camera uh, plate, so basically, we have to move that so it goes down. So, and the other legs will 
smack them in. And there you, there you have it. That's the marvellous Mac Photo B3 travel tripod. And with the uh, power of video, here's the bag. Until next time guys, and don't forget, don't remain a temple.